Well, let's try this again. Uh, for some reason, my video wasn't working. So now it looks like it is. So I want to welcome everybody to Hope City 7 at 7, 7 minutes of encouragement, 7 minutes of hope. We provide these because we believe that we live in times now to where we need some hope and encouragement on a regular basis. We want to give that to you. And so we want to thank everybody that's joining and everybody that will join. And we just thank God that we have the ability and the opportunity to do this for you. So this last Sunday, Pastor Dana uh, was ministering on Thanksgiving. And we're continuing our, uh, our uh, sermon series, Vital Signs, Hope of a... Uh, <laughs> Vital signs of a healthy believer. And one of the vital signs of a healthy believer is Thanksgiving. And Pastor Dana ministered this Sunday on that. And I'll tell you, if you haven't listened to the sermon, I, I, I highly encourage you to go and download our app, go to our website. I don't care how you do it, but man, you got to hear it. I'm telling you, she's got a lot of stuff in there that'll be a blessing to you and it'll encourage you. And one of the things that she talked about, how when we, it's, when we give thanks... It denies the circumstance of the power over us. It denies the circumstance the right to influence us in any way, shape, or form. And I love that because a lot of times people react to darkness instead of responding to the Father. Uh, you know, but when we give thanks, then it, we start responding to the Father when we give thanks. Uh, and it causes darkness to not have any influence in our life whatsoever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, the great thing about that is that Pastor Dana said that, and then I was listening to a sermon by Bill Johnson, and this is what Bill Johnson said. If we live in reaction to darkness, then the devil has had a role in establishing our agenda. And think about that. If we live in response to darkness, then the devil has a role in our agenda. Well, I don't want him to have a role in my agenda. I want the only influence for my agenda to be the Father. Uh, I don't want the devil to have any kind of influence in any way, shape, or form. Jesus never lived in response to darkness. Jesus said, I only do what I see my Father do, and I only say what he tells me to say. He never lived in response to darkness. When Lazarus passed away, and Jesus... He was, Jesus was told about it. Lazarus, he didn't go immediately. He didn't respond to darkness. He, he waited to hear on the Father, from the Father, and he spent time in prayer talking to the Father. So his influence wasn't going to come from the circumstance. It was going to come by the direction of the Holy Ghost and the Father, and, and that was going to be the only way it was going to come, no other way. Now think about this. Here's Jesus he waits three days. By the time he gets there, Lazarus has been buried for four days. And he was around a crowd of a bunch of people who were wailing and mourning and grieving over the death of Lazarus. And Jesus could have allowed those things to influence him even at that moment. And at one point, he says that he was grieved and he wept. Now, he wasn't weeping because Lazarus died. I believe he was weeping because of the unbelief of the people around him. Because right there stood in the midst of them was the resurrection and the life. And when Jesus said, show me where you've laid him, he went to the tomb and told them to roll the, t the stone away. And he didn't, you know, he, then what did he do? The first thing that he did, he said, Father, I thank you that you always hear me. He, he didn't go, well, Father, I hope this works. You know, no, he was the, he, he already knew what God would do and what was going to happen. He knew the outcome of this because he never let circumstances dictate his agenda. He never let the darkness dictate what he was going to do. He always responded to the Father and in the light of what God says about us. And what's he do? He says, Father, I thank you. There he is. What did he do? When he gave thanks... He denied the circumstance the right to have any influence, not only on him, but the other people around him. And I, man, I tell you, that is so good. So when we give thanks, we deny the circumstances to have any influence in our life, and we don't give the devil access into our agenda. He doesn't have any influence in our agenda when we continually give thanks for what God will do, what he's already done, and what he's going to do. 
And Jesus said it, Father, I thank you that you always hear me. And he said, I'm not praying for their ben- my benefit. I'm praying for their benefit. Well, that's all the time that I have. I want to thank everybody for joining. Sorry, I had a little glitch when I first started. It looked like my video wasn't playing, but maybe it was. I don't know. I want to thank everybody for joining. And I just say God bless you and have a great evening.